today I will be showing you how you can paint if for some reason you don't have a paintbrush. Welcome to our virtual studio where we believe that art is for everyone. Today I will be showing you how you can paint if for some reason you don't have a paintbrush. Here are some materials that you can use to paint with if you don't have a paintbrush. First, let's try some Q-tips. Now, some Q-tips have a pointed tip and some are more round. Um, you can use these and we will dip them in paint. So you could start by doing a bunch of dots. This is actually a form of art called pointillism, where you draw pictures using dots or points. So you could do that all over your paper and we can use the other end to create a picture. Or you can take your Q-tip and you can use it and drag it like you would a normal paintbrush. Just like that. And each time you want to switch the color, you can just use another side of your Q-tip. Now let's move on to using a cotton ball. So you can take a cotton ball and you can dip it directly in the paint. And just like the Q-tip, you can dab your paper just like that. Or you can also move it around. Since the cotton ball is a little bit thicker, it's going to make thicker movements with the paint. Now, if this is hard to hold in your hand like this, what you can take is a clothespin if you have one, and you can pin your cotton ball to it so it's stuck in there, so then you can use this as a handle. essentially creating your own paintbrush. All right, so now let's try a plastic utensil. Today I'm gonna to use a fork and I'm going to dip my fork into the paint. And then I'm going to drag like this. And now I've got some good texture with my paint. Now let's try it with a paper towel roll. I am going to dip one side of the paper towel roll into my paint. It's going to essentially make a stamp. So it's a circle shape. So I can do that. If I pinch the paper towel holder some, I can create different shapes. Kind of like an oblong shape that looks like it could be used for like a flower petal. All right, now let's see what happens when we combine all of those techniques we just learned. <music> Now 
we've got a finished painting that we created completely without a paintbrush. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Arts for Life virtual studio. If you want to show us what you made today, please tag us at Arts for Life NC. And remember, art is for everyone. Thank you.